Hey guys, Damon Kasky here. Hope everyone is doing okay. This one is going to be short and sweet. I'm going to show you how the debug options work in OpenBOR to let you see collisions and ranges in real time. First thing we'll do is start out the main menu. We go to Options, and from there we select System Options. Then we select Debug Settings, and now we're at the Debug screen. Notice there are five different options. The first, performance, we're not going to worry about. It basically just shows us how many sprites are being used and how much memory is available on the platform. Basic properties will give us the name and location of every entity on screen. Collision attack, collision body, and range, the ones we're interested in here, will actually draw the attack, body, and range boxes onto the screen so we can see them in real time. Let's go ahead and enable the attack and body boxes. Now we'll go back to the main menu and start up a game. Notice the blue box that is drawn around Terry. That is the body box that actually detects incoming collisions. When Terry attacks, you'll briefly see a red box around his arm, and that's your attack collision box. Now let's pause the game, and just to get these boxes out of the way, we'll go ahead and disable the collision body and collision attack boxes and we'll enable the range boxes. Once we unpause the game, we'll see range displayed as a green box. Now it's perfectly okay if you want to have all three or just whatever mix you feel like enabled, but personally I find it easier to look at collision body, collision attack, and range separately since they can overlap and kind of get in the way visually. Again, that's up to you. Anyway, I hope this helps you out, and we'll see you next time.